you see the camp behind us used to be up on land, uh, used to be off the beach a good ways, and now it's out in the middle of the water. And that's kind of the natural progression of barrier islands. So when the wave action comes in and the storms come in, they will push these islands north, push the sand back over on top of the island. That's why it's so critical that you have good dunes, you have good vegetation on these islands to trap that sediment once it rolls back on top of the island. When Coastal Protection and Restoration Authority in Louisiana comes in and restores a barrier island, they'll build these beaches out another five or 600 feet back out into the Gulf so that that process can start over again. When we restore island, we put sediment on the front and back we plant it and put sand fences. All that helps capture the sand as they move and roll over over time, help protect that investment. In a little bit, we're gonna to go to Whiskey Island and see a recently constructed project just to just really stop pumping sediment there. So the reason why rebuilding these barrier islands is so critical is because number one, they serve as your first line of defense against incoming hurricanes, tropical systems. They can knock down storm surge, they can knock down wave action before it gets to the more sensitive marsh uh, that's to our north. We're here in Terrebonne Parish on the Gulf Mexico side of Whiskey Island. It's one of the bear islands in the Il Denier chain of bear islands. And the state of Louisiana, the Coastal Protection Restoration Authority, recently finished rebuilding this island with about 10 and a half million yards, cubic yards of sand from offshore source about 12 miles from here. The project lasted about a year and cost, the total cost of the project was about $117 million. Now the sand that we got came from Ship Shoal. And Ship Shoal was actually an ancient delta of the Mississippi River. About 8,000 years ago, Ship Shoal used to be one of the ancient deltas of the river. And what happens is when a delta erodes and changes course, now the delta's over in Venice. There actually used to be barrier islands 12 miles from here. Eventually barrier islands erode and become a shoal. Well, shoal's an underwater sand body. So that actually this sand we got to restore this island 8,000 years ago was a barrier island and that makes it a good match for restoring barrier islands. After we finish pumping sand, we install sand fence and put vegetation on the island, and that helps capture the sand that we placed and protect our investment. Uh, obviously, the fishing on our barrier islands is great in some places pretty much year round, um, but it's a place where fish can come out, they can get in the passes between the islands and spawn. Uh, you get a lot of fisheries production up on the beach, um, you know, as the islands weather and age and the tides makes its way down the front of the island, you get dips and humps and troughs, and those are all great habitat for coastal fish like speckled trout, redfish, and flounder. The backside marshes on these islands uh, are great habitat for birds. They're also critical for shrimp and bait fish and crabs. Uh, and so that's why it's so important to make the investment when you're talking about a holistic approach to coastal restoration in Louisiana, barrier islands are where you start uh, so that you can have that first line of defense in slowing down those storm surges and that wave action. We're now on the back side of Whiskey Island and behind me is the marsh component we built. Now I know right now it doesn't look like much of a marsh because it's mainly sand. Eventually some tidal creeks will form and the plants will take, take root and it'll become a functioning marsh, which is a little different than the, the front side of the island is beach and dune. It's built up a little higher. But as we discussed, the back marsh is just as critical of a part of a bare island. So as they roll over over time, that marsh helps capture the sand and keep it here. Barrier Island restoration is a critical part of Louisiana's efforts to restore and protect our coast, restore and protect our fisheries habitat, our wildlife habitat, and our coastal communities. A lot of folks want to know, why don't we come out here and just build back the barrier islands? Well, the fact is, they are getting built. There are several other projects planned for the next decade in this basin and also in the Barataria Basin and even east of the river. So there's been a very concerted effort on the part of the state of Louisiana to rebuild these critical barriers back. It's part of a multiple lines of defense system uh, in terms of rebuilding this coast. You start with the barrier islands, uh, then you replenish sediment through diversions, you rebuild marsh, you rebuild critical ridges, you protect homes and businesses. It's all part of the process of making sure this coast can stay here for several generations to come.